Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We are here right now in Fusion Luxury up in Chatsworth, and we are going to be checking on Joey's Eleanor. Also catching up with Yoel and checking out all the other cool projects he has. This is the birthplace of Joey's car, so you guys can see what kind of work happens behind these doors. And my way is still going up. So Yoel's just in a brief meeting right now, but you can see how many projects they have here in Fusion. It's absolutely crazy and look at this color. It's like a deep blurple. Beautiful, it's a Camaro. Looks like it's fully done up. Oh wait, it's not a Camaro. What is this? It is a Dodge. This is where all the magic happens. Oh. Looks like UL's been doing a lot of bands. Always wanted one of these. Yoel also does assemble these Defenders, so they do the V8 conversions along with other mods to make the Defender a more modern, powerful vehicle. Look at this one, fully steel. Still in the projects, nice charger right here. Check out the Bronco. Same with the Bronco, this one has a Coyote 5.0. How cool is that? This is very California. Z28 Camaro and I guess a donor car. Bronco, Bronco everywhere. Oh, here is Joey Eleanor. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? I see it's in assembly mode already. Reassembly. Look at this C2 convertible. I really love the shape of these cars. Not much the convertible, but definitely the C2 in general. Not a Camaro. I'm guessing these are a few more Eleanors. Over here, Yoel does his metal work. And I wonder what's happening right now. Let's go check out some Defenders. So check it out. This is one of the Defenders that they do make here. And it's got the bars, the lift kit upgraded wheels, two-tone. This is running a LS3. Interesting. Golf cart. Amphibious vehicle. That looks fun. Carbon fenders on the Defender. Looks so good. I wonder if this has a motor already. Oh, there you go. So it's got the LS3 package, it's got a 6-speed automatic, it's got an upgraded radiator and it fits all under the bonnet. So you can't really tell that these cars have been done up but the carbon flares give it away, that looks so good. Oh, I want a carbon, I guess, covered mirrors. And Yoel does the interior as well, it's a carbon console. Gauges now being worked, that's why they're not there. Another Defender here, very popular car. This one has a LT4, so much modern engine from the newer Corvette. Wow, I love this new grill. This is new full carbon grill fascia. All the way up there, headlights have been changed too. And according to the label, 
It's a 6.2 LT1 V8 10 speed automatic, 455 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. And these things, they're so much fun because the original Defender in stock form is so slow. Over here is where they do the design work for the um, the CNC cutters. I think UL is also building a kit for the Huracan and look at this, full carbon. They do all their carbon fiber in-house. They do uh, autoclave, vacuum, and super legit. Look at that. Carbon bits all over. Can't wait to see this car finish. I wonder if they have the 488 here, which they made a kit for as well. Here, another Defender with an LS3. Very common sighting here. I love these things. This is where all the magic happens. This is the vacuum where they bake all the carbon fiber, uh, their paint booth, and then I guess the office or the mixing area. Super huge bending machine. I think this is a square tube bender. Really interesting. Look at their carbon fiber. Top quality. Really amazing. Now, over here they also have the laser cutters. Um, this is their foam CNC cutter which cuts uh, foam plugs and develops it so that they can use it for the vacuum infusion. And they have a bumper up there right now. This is, I'm guessing, the Huracan. So you can see this thing is huge. It has the head here and this is its whole work area. You can cut huge foam blocks grind it down. Here's the final carbon fiber bumper for the Huracan. Beautiful. This is a smaller CNC machine and then again all the metal works happen here. I just love coming to this place because it just shows me how much more carbon can grow in terms of uh, custom customizing and learning technologies and seeing what are the other things people are doing and UL is definitely one of the benchmarks for doing crazy things. This is their carbon room here. This is where they do all the mold laying out and preparation before they are vacuum infused. Right now you can see some stuff on the table. Or they're supposed to yeah, kill off look at that episode of 24 now. Yeah. Didn't make the time, Jack. This is Eleanor number 18. So just to let you guys know, the Eleanor of Joey is number 7. Now it's number 18. It's so far forward already. But looks amazing, as usual. They really make beautiful cars here. This is a manual. Look at these beautiful brakes. Custom spec from Wilwood. Are you warming up? Shuffle. Hey guys, so we just finished a uh, meeting with Yoel and Hill. Getting some updates on Joey's car. She's gonna be able to get it tomorrow. And I'm off to go back to Beverly Hills. So I'll see you guys again soon. Wow, it has been such a long drive, but we're finally here in GI Automotive in Beverly Hills. So traffic, everyone in LA slows down so bad when it's raining. Oh, okay, so first order of business. Okay, so first order of business is to get our goods from Manila out of here. So we're gonna be 
packing that up and then after that just checking in on the cars I might go home in a bit and change jacket because it's really cold now that it's raining and this is very rare weather for LA